Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm on Brooklyn Chinatown. Uh, I'm gonna try out the hot pot that is looks very oriental inside. The decorative is very like Sichuan styles and the buffet, is it all you can eat um, buffet hot pot. Um, they didn't come to like a soup base and uh, I think the dipping sauce would be also like extra amount per head but then overall the buff I heard is very good. And then has special things in the uh, in the hot pot. It has a butter, bear molding shape. It's very interesting. Used to be like they count the the, the buffet is like it's not really all you can eat. It's like by plate. But I think because pandemic, the business style changed a little bit. Is all the food become all you can eat? There's a lunch price menu and versus a, a dinner menu. The dinner menu comes with like seafood. So let's check it out. So this is the hot pot. Inside, it looks, looks like very oriental here. I feel like I, I mean, I'm in uh, China right now. You should have a performance in here in the center, probably at night, and then it's all you can get. Refrigerator is right here. I want the butter. Let's check it out. This is all you can pick vegetables. Oh, this is the dipping sauce area sessions. So you can have so many options. Kim is similar to regular hot pot. All the scallion, garlic, pepper, soy sauce, vinegar, anything you can think of, they have it. Okay, so now see what kind of vegetables they have. Ooh, it looks like a dim sum session. A small little portions. There's tofu, corn, squash. Seaweeds, taro, pumpkin, fungus. So they are filling up right now. We just started. And then here they have some little seafood choice of fish ball, squeak, shrimps. All this here. Span. Beef ball. So let's, let's check it out. It looks very amazing. So many choice you can get. So there's two tier option. You can order the seafood buffet or you can order the uh, meat session buffet. We got it looks like a dim sum style. It's very interesting. Just grab what you get on the frozen session. You can see what you want without like going to, to the picture what you want to get throughout the menu. You can see what you want and just grab it from there. And we order the mushroom board and then the uh, the, I think the butter spicy, not like mala, there's a butter spicy with a uh, bear on it. This is a teddy bear. We got medium. Oh, that sink, my teddy bear. Oh, and this is the mushroom broth. Oh, my teddy bear. Help, help, help. <laughs> <laughs> my teddy bear. Oh, my teddy bear. Teddy bear. Oh, my little teddy bear. Beef, chicken feet, and then the drink is all you can drink too. Uh, finally, I get to get to here. Normally, they, I tell you, normally they, back then they cost dish, per, pay per dish. Now it's like all you can eat, especially my little tiny bit. Oh, that's it, soaked out no more. Oh, it's made of butter, by the way. This is made of butter. So this is half version, this is just mushroom version. I heard the buff is good, so let me try it. That's why you pay for the board here. Like, it's like $20, you can get two combinations. Oh, it's very strong. They, they are true about the buff is very good. It's very strong mushroom paste. Let's try the spicy one. By the way, the buff is very strong mushroom paste and it's very um, rich. It's like French onion soup, <laughs> but without onion. Actually, the spicy spot doesn't taste as strong as the mushroom. I like mushroom more, I think because I want the bear. That's why I tried the uh, have the pepper version of bear. 
but definitely not much flavor compared to mushrooms. I like the mushroom better. But the spiciness we picked mid, uh, medium, so it's not that too spicy too. Mm. It's good, not too salty. Oh, it's good. So, I'm gonna thumb this. I picked this is my sauce. I add like cilantro, garlic, sesame oil. I'm not sure if they charge money, but according to the website, it's supposed to be $3 per hand, so I'm not sure these days now because the drink is free. So, that drink here, all you can drink. As long as everything in the freezer is all you can eat there. And then this is our meat, it's so long. Let me try the meat. Oh my lord. It's a fatty beef. Unfortunately, they don't have a less fatty version. Ooh. Looks spicy, but doesn't look. Oh, they have peppercorn. So it's called, it's more like a mala style. Good. They do have the Sichuan style where they have a nine box this, but we didn't order today because we have one spicy and one non-spicy. If you order the one with the nine box, nine little cube, it's gonna be all spicy. So let's try the meat with the sauce. Mmm. Very good. I can it's gonna be low flavor the meat is plain. That's why you need the um dipping sauce to help out. I'm done with some mushrooms. Doo -doo. And then some coin. And we'll come back to it later. Grabbing my some of the toppings here. Fresh bowls. Oh, this is so mala. I love it. The peppercorn. Oh my god, my tongue is so numbing now. Oh, the broth is so good. Mm. Wow, it's so very mala. This is homemade hammock beef ball. Mm. Actually, the beef ball is good. It's better than the sliced beef here. Because, I mean, it's not really bad. The sliced beef is just like, I don't like too fatty. Wow, the mala is so mala. Mushrooms, oh, it's so mala, so la. Mm. So this is, I don't know what that is. I feel like this might be a liver with some red pepper paste on it. I'm gonna dip it and try it out. I hope it's not liver, because I don't like liver. And this is how you carry all this little dim sum dish, little single dish. And take out. It's very cute. So cute. All right, I think this is cooked now. So after cooking, that looks like more like uh, definitely organs, but I don't know what type. Let's try it out. I'm not usually the type of person that's nice organ. Oh, it's very crunchy though. It's definitely not liver. I don't know what that is. It's very crunchy, it's tasty though. Oh, I, <laughs> I like it. It's good taste. Overall, it's good. The buttery. I usually eat a lot during the buffet, but because of this, like Sichuan style with the little bear butter, I feel very so stuffery. Maybe so full. I need. I feel like I didn't do well today, but the overall is good. Even though I didn't upgrade to the seafood um, buffet, I just order regular meat, but it's still good. Like eating the vegetables and stuff, feeling like so stuffy. And I'm surprised like today they give you unlimited drink, so which is good. Alright, so after all this hot pot, it's like around 
$28 per person, no, actually $29 per person, and then the soup base is like $20 for a combo. They didn't charge additional for drink. Actually, they got soil, soil drink, which is good. After all this hot pot, having this, it's kind of cool down your spiciness on your mouth and your numbness in your mouth. And then also come with ice cream with fall flavor. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.